Greetings, Legendary Badass Von Fry here, playing Nights into Dreams from the Sega Genesis. I think this came out in 96, had a fairly revolutionary controller, of which some of you can really see manifesting in the Xbox S controller, the modern Xbox uh, controller here. Hey, wow, the game doesn't give you a lot of time to talk, so never played this before. It is a Dreamcast game. Don't really know what to expect here. So there's, I mean, brand new dreams. This looks like it might be stretched. Dawn Wanderer here. Okay, nice. I don't know if you're familiar with Nights into Dreams. I know I'm not. It's kind of loud. Wow, it looks like it really wants to be widescreen. Oh wait, here we go. SS display mode. What's... I don't understand what that is. Saturn Dreams is the original, so we should try that, huh? Hold on, what else did that say up there? Nightmarin? What's a Nightmarin? It's a... I can't adjust Nightmarin, whatever that is. Alright, so we're gonna go to Sega. I'm not going to read the controls. I think this menu stuff was put in after post-mortem, kind of like how you see some of the Saturn or or Saturn era Sega games that were translated to the 360 and now backwards compatible in the series. So how about we just we just start out with Sega Saturn Dreams, whatever that means. I do have I do have a Rockstar. This is the the punched rock star in collaboration with the Starfield can, and I just got that all over my face. Only rock star seems to explode every time I open it. You have this on PS3. This was a legit 360 PS3 game conversion from the live arcade days, yeah. I think that's my version of Virtua Fighter 2 is the same way, and I don't know what we're doing here. All right, do I be Jimmy Neutron or Space Channel 5, whatever the girl's name? Dream Data? What even is that? Is this a course? Like... Is this some kind of Daytona USA? Daytona, it's going, it's going, Daytona. Okay, so, yeah, I just got to tweak my headset a little. We're going to go with the girl. You chose easy mode by being a woman in Spring Valley, the ideal, the ideal little girl. Okay, so this game had an analog stick way, way before it was the thing to have. And was I hit? Captured? Okay, we can turn the camera, but it kind of turns opposite the direction you want it to go. Like, I don't know if you can tell. It doesn't look like there's a invert camera. Oh, wait. I think that was the game telling me to get a move on. Whoa, Jesus. Now this is the character that appears on the box art. Is he the knight? Kinda looks like a gesture. The way that says Mare reminds me of Sonic. Alright, so I guess we have to we can go two different directions, maybe? Whoa. It's definitely two, it's 3D graphics, but it's, it's that 2.5D, you know, where you, where you're really on like a plane that you can't see, it's a little dynamic. As a kid, I saw this 
advertised I didn't even realize Saturn was a thing. I just wanted this game, never played it. So, when I was a kid, I don't know what I just did. But the Saturn and the PlayStation, we were kind of under the impression that they were the same power. Hey, it has a CD player and it's 32 bit, they're the same. And from the stills we saw in magazines back in the day, it kind of looked like they were about the same. And we knew that they were both out of reach. When I lived in Oklahoma through seventh grade, no, through sixth grade, I didn't know anybody for PlayStation or Saturn. And you know, they've been out for a little bit. But uh, there were kids who had uh, Nintendo 64. So the, all the Nintendo stuff was just seemingly more in reach. This is almost like floaty Sonic in a way. We got stuff in the foreground kind of messing with me up there. I guess those trees are upside down. Whoa! Did I take too long and I lost my, my guy? See, it's kind of like the rings fell out. I need to grab my, my link, it says. Okay, so now I'm walking a little more 3D. Did you see that? So, she has 3D capabilities. Oh, do you have to get all of them before you can... The control, the camera is like the opposite of the direction I want to go. That's, that's the crazy part. Okay, is this thing going to take me back? No, you don't want that. You don't want it. You don't want this thing getting you. Wow, look at that draw distance, guys. Remember when draw distance was a thing? All right, so I need what? Two more. Pain. Okay, so the red arrow is going to take me to oh, losing my marbles. Okay, gotcha. No, get off me. Super cheery music, of course. You don't have games like this anymore, like with the cheerfulness, like you do in the indie scene, you know? But AAA, it's grimdark, isn't it? All right, now we have a blue arrow, so now I think I can turn back into the night. Santa was unheard in my elementary school. Yeah, like, I had a, my best friend got a Sega CD gifted to him from his uncle. And we, th we, we thought it was pretty mind-blowing, but his uncle was already sick of it. It was already a couple years old. Right, I can't seem to pick up those in the background there, but it looks like the object of the game is you want to be this guy. Glorified tech demo? Let me know in the comments. Go down. Grab that marble. Okay, I guess we, we're not doing that. Oh, so we, we can have that move. It kind of looks like no matter what button you push, that's what you... Hey, is that a thing I can hit? Oh no, it, it is like Sonic. It's like, that's that's the uh, the bumper, you know? Alright, do I recharge my marbles? I don't know. Is that a thing to attack? Do I have an attack ability? If it looks like I'm good at this, that is totally my mistake. Alright, so we want, we want to try to... make a fluid motion here, get more time, I guess. You know, it'd be a little easier if I could see where I was going, but in true Sega fashion, just like with goddamn Sonic, I'm taking up a lot of screen real estate here with little ability to see ahead of me. We want, a, we want a big old character on the screen, don't we? 
Alright, am I doing this again? Have I not completed this loop already? Something's happening with the music. Oh, Jesus. Falling in style. I think the dude who did this wanted to incorporate the same elements into the land Wonderland. Didn't work out. I think that I think I'm dead. Get me back in the machine. I don't understand why I got knocked out of gesture mode. That's what I'm confused about. I thought I grabbed everything. Come on, get me back in there. I don't want this thing touching me, right? Finally. Alright, now I've got a green orb, and I can't see where I'm going. Can anyone make heads or tails out of the map, out of the geography here? Okay, Nightmare 3, I guess? I don't, I don't understand, but... Points for link for doing the consecutive link. Those are in the foreground. All right, now the music changed, but maybe it's just resetting the loop. I don't, am I in like supersonic mode right now? Oh, now it's, now the camera's shifting around. Go, go get in there. Dick. Alright, I collected something. I can't tell if I can grab that stuff. Maybe I can. It says, nice one. Am I in a boss fight? What the fright? Look, I don't honestly know what I'm doing. It just it makes it look like I know what I'm doing. That's the best I can say. The portals with claws. I want to go to the portal with the claw. Alright, so how come that time he... Oh, Jesus Christ. That time it, like, shifted... The camera shifted. Gotta get my marbles. Alright, so once you have sufficient marbles, you can get back into the claw machine. This part where you're not the jester the whole time, that kind of surprises me. I thought you were playing as that guy. I mean, I guess you kind of are. It's like, if you're Super Mario, I guess. How am I going to reach that? Yeah, it's showing a claw machine up there, but this thing, the time bouncer is on my ass. Where's it want me? Okay. Do I have enough for the claw machine? I don't think so. I, I can't tell what happened. Good evening? Why are you saying good evening now? I mean, well, it is like almost 8 o'clock. Yeah, my time. Alright, I think we're looking for a claw machine to... You know, you have better grippage on this mountaineering than you do in Fortnite. Like, you can go up, like, any hill.
All right, so now we're on Nightmare. So every time I get kicked out, it's a different one. All right, let's go this way instead. Can't see. I think I might have saw this at a kiosk in a Sears and just thought, well, that's trippy and confusing, but I don't think I got to play it. Used to see games at kiosks. I mean, I kind of see like a Nintendo Switch set up at Target. Whoa, we got some air. I made that look like I got the hang of it, but I don't, trust me. Boom! Big collection. Uh-oh, these guys look like they want to attack. I think they released like a Christmas version of this, like almost like a DLC update. Like that's kind of the way it would go back in the day. All right, so why am I not in that? Where it was kind of like, okay, now we have like a, a slightly different version of the game at this time of year to release. Nowadays it would be DLC. I think the Jester guy had like a Santa Claus color scheme, if I remember right. Oh my god, what got me? This is the worst part of the game right here. Who would have thought this was good? Yeah, now you have to get kicked out of the damn thing and then trek up the hill. So I guess, I don't know, finish the rest of the level? Alright, I better get in there. I may have tried this at Toys R Us, but I don't know what the hell to do. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna transform into the guy, right? I think I gotta be the guy. I gotta use my masculine powers in order to... The claw machine, it's kinda like it follows. Like, it slowly comes towards you at all times. That the no the evil time uh, bomb zapper. That's what I'm talking about. Are these enemies like what? What is this? All right, so we're on to the next level, right? Grade F. Is that what happened? Um, hold on. I guess... What are we doing? Is this the bonus stage? I'm chasing the dragon? It says minus five. Maybe this is a boss fight? Alright, well, let's go this way and cut him off. On top of the head. That's gotta be an achievement. Oh, he just grows back. I can't tell if this is a boss battle or a pointless endeavor. It's giving me almost boss battle music. I'm kind of jamming to this. It's a boss. Never catch the dragon, dude. You don't want to, you want to avoid that tail, that's for sure. Alright, here, let's cut him off over here. It, it's almost like a boss bonus round, like how many times can you bop this guy on the head? 
Or is my time running out to kill him? I can't tell. One more time. Alright, game better have the answers for me. Try to use the par loop attack. Try to figure out what the hell that even means. Well, guys, I think that concludes our our first uh, go at it in... Jesus. I'm not even continuing, am I? Hey, these two have, like, different dreams. Is that right? Clarice and Elliot? All right, well, hey, that concludes our first impressions of Nights into Dreams. Did you play this when you were a kid, or have you played it before? Have you heard of this game? It's kind of weird how obscure some things can get from the 90s. Let me know in the comments below. If you made it this far, wait until marriage. By the way, I'll have something else to stream for you next, next week. Maybe a throwback game? of some kind. I haven't really determined what. But yeah, come see me uh, next Friday, 7.30 Central, and we'll f see what we do. Yeah, so you've made it this far. Wait until marriage. Counseling.